Hello guys, welcome to the Tech Day Everyday channel. Um, today I would like to show you my test of the T90E iron from Alliantech company. This is a smart iron which supports up to 140 watts, so it means it's very powerful. Uh, it has USB-C port uh, and supports power delivery and quick charge protocols. Um, I think I will test the device with 65 watts power supply because I think nowadays is the most popular one. Uh, I got the B version, uh, it means it has the T245 tip. Um, okay, let's check what we can find inside the package. So we have here a nice plastic package uh, which can be used for the device storage in the future. Um, inside we can find two paper cards with QR codes. I think it is very good approach because in that case we will not waste the paper for the user's manual. We can just scan the QR code and download the user's manual. I have to say that the user's manual is very good. Uh, you can find there all needed information. Okay, next we have USB-C to USB-C cable. It is 120 centimeters length. Uh, next we have here an iron holder with cleaning sponge. And of course we can find here the iron with the T45 tip installed. It is very easy to replace the tip, you have to just pull it out and push it in. Okay, it's time to turn on the device. To start the device you have to press the left button. As you can see it heats up very fast. You can change the temperature manually by pressing the right button. We have three temperature presets available here. We can turn off the device by pressing the right button. Okay, now I want to show you all options available there. So if you want to go to the menu, you have to press both buttons at the same time. We have 15 options here. The first one, here you can check the power source parameters. The next one, uh, here you can change the temperature step. Here you can change temperature for presets. Here we have sleep temperature, sleep time and standby time. Here we can choose uh, voltage for the power supply. Here we can trim the power. Here we can change the temperature unit. Here we can change language. I think English is the best option here. Here we can rotate the LCD panel. If you turn on this option, the iron will start heating up automatically 
when you plug in the USB cable. I think for safety reason you should leave it as turn off. Here we have temperature calibration. Here we can reset all options. And here we can check our firmware version. As you can see here, the device remembers the last set temperature. Ok, it's time to test the device. Uh, I will try to desolder some THT components, some SMD components and I will use for that the 65 watts power supply as I mentioned before. Ok, seems it works very good. Uh, I want to do one an additional test. Uh, I want to use my 20 watts power bank to power the device and we will see if it is able to desolder THD and SMD components using only 20 watts. As you can see 20 watts is still enough to desolder big components. I think this is a very good solution for someone who has to use the iron in the field, uh, who does not have access to electricity there. Um, if you would like to order the iron, please check links below the video because Eliantec prepared a special offer for you. You can order the device from Amazon on, or from uh, AliExpress. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and it's all for today. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. See you, bye bye.